So, just another quick video that I've chosen to call Auto Gain Demystified because I hope that's what this video will do. So, we're going to look into how Auto Gain works and why it's probably a pretty good idea to use it. So, what I've done, I've uh, created three new tracks here a three one with the green star indicating the new, and uh, they're all just actual copies of this track. Um, but then I've put them into an external tool and lowered the overall volume so that the top one is now the original volume, which is 98 dB. The next one is about 90 dB, and the third one is about 81 dB. And then when I play them, what happens? Let's try listening to them. So I load the original one first. And then the 90 dB one. And then the 81 dB one. And they all sound about the same volume. And why is that? Well, of course, that's because of auto gain. Um, so if I look into the settings here and go into auto gain, that's set to auto. Let's see what the options are. You can set it to auto plus remember or remember. And that means that if you change the gain manually, it'll be remembered even if you're on auto plus remember. That may not be the best because then it'll be used the next time and that may not be what you want, especially not if you've just used gain to boost your mix a little bit uh, right when you're mixing and forgot to turn it back or something like that. So normally the default is auto is what you want, but let's try setting it to no. And then playing the tracks again. So that's the original one, the 98 dB one. That's maybe even a little bit louder than the, the what we heard before. Let's try the 90 dB one. So that's definitely lower. So also again, it's doing its thing. And then let's load the 81 dB one. And there you can see, you can even see it in the waveform up here. That's gonna be way lower. Let's listen to it. And it is indeed way lower. So that's what auto gain does. So we probably already knew that. But uh, can we find out a bit more about it? Well, yes, we can. Uh, that's actually a bit of info in, on the homepage about it. So if I go into the homepage here, see actually about the limiter. It says, by default, the gain structure in Visual D-Day is set up in such a way that playing a single track at full volume with gain and equalizer in the center position will sound similar to playing audio in other applications. That's probably true, but not very scientific. So let's see what's actually happening inside Virtual DJ. So uh, when you look at these tracks, you can actually uh, check them out in the in the tag editor here. So I do that for the 98 dB, 98 dB one, and it says gain dB 2.83, so almost three. So uh, is that plus or is that minus? Well, it's listed as plus, but what it's actually mean is that it's detected to be 2.81 uh, decibel uh, louder than what Virtual DJ would really want if you're running auto gain. So that means that if you want uh, to use auto gain, this should be lowered 2.83 before you play it. And of course, it's gonna be the opposite with the other ones. Oh, sorry, that was not what I wanted to do. Tag it this So, this is detected at minus 4.7. And uh, so that means it should, uh, it should uh, add almost 5 dB uh, in the gain when, it's, when using auto gain uh, before playing this track. And if you look at the final one, it's the same thing. It should add about 14 dB before playing it. And that's the 81 one. That also tells us something else. That the thing about uh, about the same volume, like it said at the, at the homepage, actually means probably about 95 dB. Now, 95 dB is actually a bit lower than most tracks you're probably going to purchase. Now, because of the loudness wards, they're going to be about 98 dB. So you can pretty much, uh, for, for most new tracks, it'll, that it'll be lowered a little bit before being played if you use auto gain. So let's enable auto gain again. back to default and see what we can actually learn more. Well, um, 
First of all, we have learned that we don't want to change this manually. Because if I set this to, I want it loud, set it to something high or whatever I wanted to, to because I'm misunderstanding what to do it, then what, the only thing you're doing is you're giving virtual the DJ the wrong information so that it can't do auto gain. So you don't want to change this manually. If it's off, you should simply reanalyze. That's important information. So the next question is probably, why can't I see that this low track is being uh, gained so much? Can't see it, it's gained up here, can't see anything here, can't see anything here. Well, you can actually see that in two places. Now that I'm hoovering over it, here you can actually see that it has a value of 13.73 dB. That's how much it's I have actually added to the gain. You just can't see it on the gain knob. The same if I uh, put on the 90 dB one, it has actually now also gained that 4.7. And if I put in the 98 one, it has actually lowered it by 2.83 to get to that uh, that sweet spot around 95 dB that Virtual DJ likes. So, uh, uh, so, so that's one way to see it. There's also another way because there's a setting for it. So if I go in here, put auto gain again. You can have, we have a, a weird little setting I called gain slider includes auto gain. That basically means that whatever auto gain does is not reflected on the knob. So it's still gonna be 12 o'clock when it's auto gains. So if your mixer or your controller is at 12 o'clock, it's ready to adjust the gain manually a little bit if needed. So I think that's a cool setting, but you, if you disable it, then you can see on the knob what is happening. So let's try to do that. So set that to no. So now you can see, now it's lowered it because we've loaded the 98 dB one. If you lower the 90 dB one, it has put the gain uh, up. It says on and up, 4.7, but you can also see it that it's actually been turned to the right, right? And if I throw the very low one, you can see it's been turned basically all the way up. <clears throat> so in numbers that's 13.73. So those are three ways to actually see the uh, two ways, sorry, to actually see the auto gain happening in the software. Now I just have it so that I can see it uh, on the hoovering if I'm in any doubt. I really wanted to have this this width setting so that it's ready for my manual gain when my manual gain is placed uh, at 12 o'clock the physical knob. So that's what I want. Okay, but uh, is, that how, is this how everybody does it? I always get the question, what does Serato do? Well, Serato has actually just one uh, value that it's aiming for, like in the, we have to, we've now figured out that that's probably around 95 in virtual DJ. That's the only setting Serato has. So if we switch to Serato now and go into settings, you can see there's a setting here, it says 92 dB. So if you set that to 95 dB instead, then it will be just like virtual DJ, basically, uh, in what it's aiming for, right? It, when it is using auto gain. Yes. Of course, uh, you also have to enable auto gain. It's also a setting in Serato. But can we get the 92 dB in virtual DJ? Uh, because maybe you're feeling that you're running a bit, a bit hot. You can see even when it's, uh, when it's auto gained, uh, you, you have uh, some, uh, some, uh, some, some limits are kicking in up here. That'll especially be true if you have the same track uh, or similar tracks uh, uh, under one in both decks. So let's try doing that. So I'm just gonna play both of them and sync them. That's close enough. Now you can see it's actually hitting the limiter on the exact one downbeat because it's basically the same drum sound. It's, it's basically the same drum sound at at a, at the exact same time when we are mixing them both 100% on top of each other. So one, I want to create some headroom. So maybe I want to go from 95 dB to 92 dB like Serato has as a default. Can you do that? Well, yeah, if you can, you can use the zero dB setting. So in, that's actually changing away from this around uh, 95 dB goal that we, we have figured out that Virtual DJ has. So you can set that to, for instance, minus th three, then the goal will be about 
92 dB going out of the system. Um, can't see it anywhere in the GUI, it'll just happen. But you can definitely see it on the limiter. So if I try playing the same two tracks again on top of each other, There's no more. There's no more limiter kicking in. So that lowers the, the overall goal from around 95 dB to around 92 dB, which is a very nice setting to have. I usually use minus one to minus six, depending on uh, on which on which hardware I'm using, it can differ a little bit too. So uh, so that was uh, basically my uh, my auto gain demystified. I hope that puts some things into perspective.